Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. This is a rather special episode. This is based on some feedback I got from a viewer commenting on the video where I joined Windows 10 to a Zential domain. And this particular viewer was wondering why I used an old build of Windows 10. Well, so there are a couple of ways you can get pre-built Windows 10 VMs to use for testing. So on the screen, I've got the location of the newer build. This is 1909 and that's at developer.microsoft.com or if you do a Google search, just search for Windows 10 VM testing and you will turn this up. It is a 20 gigabyte download so this is not for the faint of heart but I have downloaded this and already extracted it so we are going to run through the process I used to connect this to Zenshul. I'm going to get rid of Safari here and we're going to open VirtualBox. All right. So before we go further, I have this downloaded in my downloads folder. And down here at the bottom, Windows Dev 1912 eval. And it's got an OVF file and a VMDK file. So from VirtualBox, I've got my Zen group highlighted. Okay, so with the Zen group highlighted, I'm going to go to File and Import Appliance. Select Folder. I want Downloads. Windows Dev 1912 Eval. And then select the OVF file. And Open. Continue. And leave that as it is right now. Import. And this will take a few moments and I will be back when this has finished the import process. All right, so we've got our new VM down here. I'm just going to move this up into the group and we're going to go ahead and start this VM up. All right, so we are in our Windows VM here. It's got a pretty low resolution set by default, so we're going to bump that up just to make it easier to work with and easier for all of you to see that might be viewing it on a larger screen. So we're going to bump this up to let's say that, if it'll let me save the changes. Okay, so we've got 1280 by 960. And if we go to system and about, you will see that we are in fact running version 1909. And other than the Patch Tuesday update from January 2020, this is very much up to date. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to start up the other virtual machines and then we will get this joined to the Zenshell Active Directory domain. I'll be right back. All right, we've now got our VMs up and running, our Windows VM, Zenshell, and then back here we've got our PFSense box. First thing we need to do is make a change to the virtual box settings for the Windows VM. So we will open up settings, network settings, and we're going to change that from NAT to internal network. And it needs to be on the Zen network. So that's the first change we need to make. So if we open up PowerShell 
And so it is listing the default gateway as 192.168.1.1 and we've got an IP address of 1.104. Okay, part one complete. Part two, we need to change the DNS in Windows from the automatically assigned DNS, which will be from our PFSense virtual machine, to use the Zential DNS. This is crucial for getting it joined into the Active Directory portion. So we're actually going to just go to control panel and we're going to go to network and sharing center, adapter settings, properties on our adapter, and then IPv4 properties. And we're going to change DNS to be the IP address of Zential, which is 1.102. And apply that. And OK. And then we can come back up to Control Panel. Okay, so now we've changed the DNS to point at Zential. From here, we can go to System, and we're going to have to change the name of the computer first, because otherwise it's the name of a machine that's already been joined. So we will say Win10 YouTube Demo. We'll make the change, restart, and then we can join to the domain. I'll be right back after this is restarted. And we are just about back into Windows. And we can go ahead and get this machine joined. All right, let's go to Control Panel. We're going to go to System. We are going to go to Change Settings and change. We're going to join a domain and the name of our domain is zential-domain. And the username and password of an administrator user that can join you to the domain. And we're going to say domain, essential domain, and this should give us a more satisfactory result. And we are joined to the domain and must restart the computer. Restart now. So if we come back to Essential users and computers and we do a refresh over here we will see win 10 YouTube demo has been in fact joined to the domain so once we get this restarted we will try logging in with the Joe six-pack user And this is a user that was built into the Zential domain. This was not previously on this virtual machine, but we are in fact able to log in without an issue. So to get back to referencing the comments that were left for me, uh, this particular viewer was running clear OS and not Zential and was having trouble joining 
the Windows 10, the newest version of Windows 10, to the domain on ClearOS. Now, I have not used ClearOS in any great depth. I have not gone through the same sort of lab experiment trying to join Windows 10 to ClearOS. But in theory, it should work the same way. As long as the DNS in Windows 10 is pointed at the ClearOS box and not directly to the router, you should be able to join Windows 10 to the domain set up on the ClearOS box. I'm not sure that this helped, but uh, for the other viewers out there, this does go to show that yes, you can in fact join uh, Windows 10 build 1909 to a Samba 4 domain running on Zenchel server. So, uh, just for the sake of argument, we can come up here and we can um, let's see if it cooperates with me. Change account, switch user. And so we should be able to log in. The one thing I will show, if you try to do administrator, it defaults to the local administrator. So if you do administrator at Zenchel hyphen domain, it does say sign into Zenchel domain and you enter the password and we can log into that user as well. Likewise, if we jump back over here and we add a user, we can say YT demo, YouTube demo, add a user and then jump back to Windows again it's still trying to log in the administrator but we will test the YT demo account as well once this is done with the current account so I'll be right back after this one gets logged in all right, and we are logged in as the administrator. Give this another minute or two, and it should let us access the menu. All right. So come on. Switch user. Do this one more time, and then we'll cut the video off. Okay, so we want other user, YT demo, and it is in fact going to log in as that one as well. All right, so we are logged in as the YT demo user now. So this will get its, get the remainder of its setup done here. And it's still got the spinny, the spinning circle. But now that we've got the toolbar populated, we can access all this fun stuff with Windows 10. And again, if we come into settings, it should show that we are in fact joined to the domain. If we drill down here a little bit. So this is Windows 10 
Enterprise Evaluation, Build 1909, Network. I really hate this new interface. Um, what if we come back over here? And go to system. It does show that we are logged in and connected to the Zenchal Domain dot LAN. The full computer name is Win 10 YT Demo dot Zenchal hyphen Domain dot LAN. So we are all set and ready to go. And the only thing we really haven't covered at this point that we could make another video on is using the remote access tools to make changes to the Zenchal domain using the standard set of Windows tools that you might use if you were running a full Windows stack from end to end. So we might take a look at that in another video sometime in the near future. Until next time, this is Jeremy signing off for the Practical IT channel. If you haven't taken a moment yet to like and subscribe to the channel or leave comments, please feel free to do that now. And once again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.